They're the world leaders in user interface design. They are the world leaders in augmented reality research. So we took notice when they arrived. Trimble Navigation is one of many companies working with HitLab New Zealand to change the way we look at the world. Based at the University of Canterbury, HitLab's pioneering research involves augmented reality and the creation of virtual environments, and their work is leading to new ways for people to work with computers. Well, the HitLab is a research and development lab developing advanced um, human-computer interfaces. So really the HitLab is all about developing new technology that helps humans work better with computers. HitLab New Zealand is a sister laboratory to HitLab US, based in Seattle, and founded by Tom Furness, a world authority on virtual reality interfaces. Uh, two years ago, we formed the HitLab New Zealand with uh, one of my students who graduated here from the University of Washington, Mark Billinghurst. Mark Billinghurst, in his own right, is a world treasure in that he indeed pioneered whole new technologies for human interface, including the Magic Book technology. The Magic Book project came out of the idea that real books are often used to transport you to imaginary places. And now with augmented reality and virtual reality technology, we can actually add some physical embodiment to those places or, or some graphic embodiment. So you have a real book where you can see an augmented reality scene or augmented content popping out of the pages of the book. Or if you want to, you can fly inside the pages and you can become part of the story. And so really it was a convergence of a number of different uh, technologies. One was this notion of using real objects to interact with the computer. Another was the capability to enhance real objects with augmented reality. And then that was also building on the past experience that we had with immersive virtual environments. The work has applications in areas ranging from medicine to entertainment and requires a high degree of innovation and creativity. Typically what happens is that we will come up with a project idea and then a student will just work on it and develop it to the point where we can demonstrate it and showcase it to other people. We have students here that are from all types of backgrounds and so because of that, if you've got you know, a student from an arts background sitting side by side with a student from a, a mathematics or engineering background, sometimes the synergies there create a lot of new ideas as well. Turning these new ideas into commercial applications is a major driving force behind the HitLab concept. One of the, uh, the things that we wanted to do in the HitLab US was go beyond just working on neat technology. We wanted to get it out into the world where it would really do some good. So we formed HitLab with the notion that we were going to spin off companies. And indeed, the HitLab US has been very successful in doing that, in that we spun off 23 companies, and over 700 people are employed in the state of Washington, with the capitalization of those companies uh, approaching a billion dollars. In New Zealand, as well as the United States, HitLabs have formed consortia with industry to develop the ideas emerging from the lab's research work. Well, companies partner with the HitLab through our industrial consortium, and so these companies are, are companies that have identified us as a, as a valuable resource for, the, for their uh, research and development directions, and they work with us to identify a project which will add value to their own products. And then we have researchers in the lab here who work on that project with them and then help to transition that technology out into their products. Trimble Navigation, a world leader in positioning technology, is a member of the HitLab consortium. For the last few years, Trimble have been developing augmented reality ideas, but we've only been able to take it to a certain point. We're interested in construction engineers being able to look at positioning a road or building a house, and we're collaborating right now on a system that will take augmented reality outdoors. The Hit Lab, I feel, have been a catalyst in taking us to the next level. We could not have done this without Hit Lab New Zealand. We'd be still trying to figure out what these guys have known for years. The association between HitLab and Trimble continues to produce innovative ideas. We're meeting on a regular basis, we're having monthly meetings, talking about different ideas, uh, being presented with things that we, had, we think could not possibly be anything to do with us, and we come out thinking, hold on, that sounds like we could do something with that. All members of the consortia become part of a much wider group interested in exploring the possibilities of HitLab's pioneering research. With this association of the HitLab US and HitLab New Zealand, we truly are partners. And the industrial companies which support the HitLab US 
and the industrial partners at Lab New Zealand also join together. So our virtual worlds consortia, the one in New Zealand, the one here, interact with each other. So we see this as a way to bring companies together, as well as students and faculty. HitLab are a catalyst to enable industry to get together. Went to Seattle and I'm sitting next to Co Eastman Kodak, Microsoft, Boeing, Microvision, and we're sitting down, we're having a coffee, and we're talking about ideas that we'd only come up with these ideas if we were together in that room. Well, I believe that the HitLab New Zealand and the HitLab US will continue to grow our partnership. And what we want to do is work together and pioneer new technologies together so that when we combine these technologies and the intellectual property associated with them, we can now attract multinational companies to work with us. And now we can truly get the technology out into the world where it can do some good.